Hey everybody, welcome back. Oh my gosh, that was a bit of a lapse between the last video review, wasn't it? My apologies. Crazy busy with work, uh, but hey, things are back to normal now. Hey, in front of us, we've got all new X-Tech DM220 Mini Pocket, call it what you want it. This is one little packed multimeter. Let's take a look. Now this little 4,000 count digital display multimeter um, does do current. So that's a cool thing for one of these pocket rockets. Um, yeah, the leads are captive, permanently attached, but it does do at least microamps and milliamps. Doesn't do high current, but does some current nonetheless. What do you get in the box? Well, you get one of these plastic overlays. Hey, I think they're pretty good. That bubble keeps the meter safe during shipping. Here it gives you a quick lowdown on the specs. They call it a large high contrast LCD. Uh, I think that's pushing it. Um, Non-contact voltage detection, built-in flashlight, double molded housing, uh, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, there you go. Feels good, has that X-Tech quality feel. X-Tech a name in the business, been around a long, long time. Uh, some good, some not so good, but nonetheless, X-Tech is a brand we are all familiar with. One thing about this meter is that uh, selector switch, it is tiny. Holy crime, it's tiny. It's a tiny selector. So uh, you might really, depending on your, um, you know, the size of your hands and fingers, you might find it a little problematic, especially if you have like gloves on, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a small selector. This little Auto Ranger also comes with a uh, manual. Pretty good one at that. Um, all the specs again, data sheet, uh, quick how-tos. Um, it is in English as well as uh, Spanish. So there you go. Speaking of specs here, yeah, nothing gonna knock you out of the ballpark. Capacitance only up to a measly 200 microfarad. Oh, that sucks. Resistance 40 mega ohm, that's okay. 100 would've been better. Um, AC current up to 200 milliamps. DC current 200 milliamps. A uh, volts AC DC 600 volts, as well as uh, frequency up to, get this, 99.999 kilohertz. So, yeah, you know, it's okay. Now this little DM220 reminds me a lot of this Unity 125C, same form factor. Uh, the Unity just ever so slightly thicker and perhaps a wee bit uh, longer, but really, you know, that's cutting it. They're pretty darn close. Um, both auto ranging meters. Now the Unity does have a backlight where the X-Tech does not. In fact, that backlight, I think it's on right now. So yeah, so um, you know, uh, I, I do prefer the selector of the Unity, just a little easier to dig into, but wow, in terms of form, are very, very close. As I mentioned, those leads are captive, as you can see. Speaking of test leads, um, you know what? They're not so shabby. Uh, they have a really good quality feel to them. And of course, that uh, protector comes off, giving us an extra cat. We lose an extra cat, but we have a lot more functionality. And boy, that is sharp. The cat rating is cat 3, 1,000 volts, cat 4, 600 volts. Um, I don't know. Take that with a grain of salt once again. Let's uh, face it in terms of input protection. I uh, don't know what's in here yet, but I don't think it's going to be all that robust. By the way, those captive leads are really long. I'd say about three and a half, four feet in length. So you are getting a lot of uh, distance here. Even though they're captive, you should be able to do most uh, jobs without any issues. A couple of uber high quality voltage reference standards here. Wow, these are from my buddy Fred. You can get his link down below um, on eBay. Handmade, high quality, uh, some of the best electrical engineering I've ever seen in terms of uh, precision voltage reference standards. Check them out and reasonably priced as well. Great job, Fred. Okay, here we are sitting at five volts according to the uh, voltage standard and coming in with the X-Tech at 4.99 volts. Let's try the other one here. This should be 10 volts. Now remember, this is only 4,000 count. And what do we have? 9.98 volts, nice and fast on the X-Tech and definitely in spec. Take a closer look at that selector switch, starting from left to right, microamps, AC-DC. Milliamps, AC-DC, up to 200 milliamps. 12 o'clock, off position. Volts, frequency and duty cycle. Volts, AC-DC, up to 600 volts. 
resistance, capacitance, diode, and continuity. At the top, we have three buttons, starting on the far left with our mode or select. In the middle, we have our flashlight. And finally, on the far right, we have our frequency as well as duty site. At the far end of the multimeter, we have our NCV or non-contact voltage right here at the top. And over here is our LED for the flashlight. By the way, this little X-Tech is definitely in the cheaper realm. Uh, we're talking around $49, $50 Canadian, about $40 or so US. So yeah, it just makes it into the cheaper zone. Comparing display quality to the Unity, yeah, definitely not as good. A lot more chunky, funky looking fonts. And let's just face it, the Unity is crisper, cleaner, and much easier on the eyes. As well as you have that nice backlight, which in this case really doesn't make a difference. So you've got a lot of contrast on the Unity. Not so much so here with the uh, X-Tech. In fact, with glare, what have you, you're gonna lose a lot of that uh, display. Right now we have it hooked up to the mains. Now remember, this is not a true RMS multimeter, so we're not gonna have that exact sine wave uh, configuration, but nonetheless, 121.2 volts coming up pretty darn close. And uh, nice thing is, I don't know if you can tell or not, but look at that, we have the high voltage indicator here at the top, uh, just letting us know that we are in the danger zone. So that's kind of cool. Just let you know that you are indeed uh, dealing with some high voltage. I like that, good safety feature. as well, the nice thing, you can hit that frequency button. There's our frequency and off to the duty cycle of 50%. So nice and handy dandy, one touch. Quick look at resistance right now with my little resistor cluster. Hello, Mr. Resistor Cluster. It's been a while, hasn't it? 100K is what we want. And oh yeah, that was pretty close. If I could just hold the darn thing still. 102-ish. There we go. Oh my gosh, right on the money, honey. Good job, a little bit of DU error there, defective user. 10K is next, 10K. Come on, man, hang it in there. And there we are. Oh, yes, nice, nice, nice. Okay, 1K is next. Pretty darn close, pretty close, oh yeah. Let's try 10 ohm. Look at that. A little bit of an overshoot initially, but 10.3 coming in. Good stuff. Finally, let's try 1 ohm. 1 ohm on the resistor cluster. And coming in just shy, 0.9 of an ohm 0.8. So losing a little bit of that accuracy in the lower resistance ranges. All in all though, pretty quick to range. Don't forget this is some pretty uh, low values as well. As high and all in all, I think it did really good in resistance. Oh, Aztec 220. You're making me feel good. Dialed baby. Oh yes, we get so many emails from people saying, does it make the audible beep and dialed? Well, I do check every time. And if it does, I definitely let you know. Starting off with a standard diode, forward voltage drop. So there we are, but no audible beep. Off to LED land. And oh my God, nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing for the red LED over to the green, uh, yellow I mean, and nothing again, the green. Oh, oh my God. Ah, it's a bust. You were doing so good, X-Tech, right up until till now. So zero for five in terms of illumination or forward voltage drop. Oh, that just really sucks. And wow, I mean, is this any wonder? Look at that, 1.6 volts DC. It's all we're getting out of the little X-Tech Mini. So just not enough to do the job in diode land. Oh, it's a shame. It's a shame. Finally, continuity, here we are. Now remember, these are captive test leads. Can't remove them, so we're not gonna be able to try those amazing Pro Masters. Stock, default, three, two, one. Oh. Oh. So it's scratchy, latchy. Kinda mumbled, not the greatest. Oh, how loud is it? Wow, 82.7 dBA, that's louder than me. Holy moly cannoli. Didn't really think it was that loud. 
Ah. So, I mean, yeah, all things considered, you know, it's not bad, not bad thus far, other than that pathetic dial performance. It really wasn't that bad. It's tiny. It's pocket, market, rocket. I can't even talk this morning. I haven't had my coffee yet. Let's see how it is under the hood. Oh, by the way, capacitance? Yeah. 200 microfarad? Eh, it didn't even bother. It, 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 it was fine, though. Just kind of way so interesting enough it does not have an ncv uh non-contact voltage detector but well it does have an ncv and this is what i mean look it, it gives you an illuminated light letting you know if high voltage is nearby oh my god no audible beep nothing in the visual uh sorry in the auditory realm strictly visual but uh hey it works it seems to work but it's not working on your light switch oh it, oh, it is actually it is it is Gotta get in there, but yeah, it is. It is working. Oh, interesting. Interesting. So, yeah, well, hey, there you go. Funky. Changing the battery is simple enough. On the back of the meter at the bottom, you've got one Phillips screw, and that's all it takes. Bada boom, bada bing, bada bang. That's where your two AAA batteries go. And it does tell you in what direction. So, yeah, easy breezy. Beautiful X tech. So, bad news in the meter removal department. You can't open it up, folks. Well, you can, but you'll break it. Yeah, so hidden underneath uh, that uh, test lead well, you have one Phillips screw, and that basically released this case. But when you release it, oh, yeah, you know, even though you gently try and pull up on the back, it's still stuck and kind of left you with a little bit of a mess. So, <laughs> not an elegant solution. Really nothing designed here for... Um, whoa, sweet baby, geez, Louise, look at that. Okay, well, we've got some massive input protection here. Holy moly, let's take a quicker look. So lots of interesting things going on in the little 220. Um, let's start off here with that uh, nice heat shrink on the test leads themselves uh, in there really well. And I'm telling you, that is a lot of heat shrink for such a small meter. Um, but it's holding those two uh, positive and the negative test lead together. So they're not going to go anywhere. Really nice attention to detail. Obviously, X-Tech is the original OEM on this meter, uh, as signified here on the PCB DM220A. And look at that. We have a polyfuse, a polyfuse for the milliamp side. And not just that, it's rated at 400 milliamp. 400 milliamps. So they're actually over their milliamp rating by 200 milliamps. Excellente x -Tech. Oh, fantastico. And look at that. Nice high-powered resistors over here. And a PTC as well as a MOV for that input protection. Oh, my God. Now we have a weird red wire. And it seems to be going from that uh, polyfuse into... Um, hmm. Into one of those resistors. So I'm not sure how that is being bridged or why it's being bridged but uh, have to take a closer look a little bit later um, anyway we have some really nice quality stuff going on we even have some adjustable pots over here as well vr1 vr2 and vr3 so we have some adjustable uh, um, options here uh, if things go amiss down the road there's our speaker as well that's the led for the flashlight our oscillator this is a hex invert over here at the top but generally speaking whoa good stuff x tech Moving things over to the other side, look at that. Interesting, isn't it? That is our selector tracks, and not many of them, but there they are, gold-plated, uh, really nice. Their main IC here is cobbed. Um, a few dials at the top, there's our push buttons for the selectors. Overall, really nice attention to detail. Those are the LEDs to uh, illuminate the high uh, voltage detector at the top of the meter. And here are the pads that make contact with that uh, rotary selector track. Very nice, very, very nice. All in all, I gotta say, oh yeah, and there's our tiny little selector switch, which at least has that nice indicator at the top here. So you know what, X-Tech, you did a heck of a job here in terms of what you're getting for such a tiny package. Definitely robust, and I gotta say, very, very nicely done. Okay, gonna put it back together. Oh my gosh, that'll be fun. Come back with my closing thoughts. Closing thoughts for this little pocket rocket from X-Tech, the DM220. Yes, yes, and yes, this is one great little pocket style mini multimeter that has actual robust input protection and should fill a definite need. 
ever so cool with that X-Tech glowing orange that is so easy to find. No matter how much of a mess your garage is, that color just really stands out. Great performance as well. Hey, 600 volts AC-DC, uh, duty cycle um, uh, frequency, like, you know, I mean, it does the stuff you need it to do. Yeah, it doesn't do high current, that's the only thing, but it does do milliamps up to 200. And hey, we had some great input protection in there as well. Wish that screen was a little bit bolder, a little bit brighter, and overall crisper, but at the end of the day, it still is readable. Backlight would have been nice, but hey, I guess you can't have it all. The x -Tech. Pocket Multimeter DM220 gets a solid four out of five stars. Hey, throw this one in that toolbox or out on the camping trail and you're gonna be all set. Thanks for watching this review, everybody. Till the next one, keep on testing.